what is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we have got a doozy for you we are going with a hundred percent complete ultimate guide to the soul gems this is one video you are not gonna want to miss all right what is up my fellow mobile gamers so here we go we got our soul gems we're talking all about it you are going to go into your squads select any character and over here in the soul tab you will see actually four different ones you can equip but if you are not a high enough star level for that character it will not show up let me give you a good example let me pick somebody who i have at a low star count let's go to this guy right here i have his first two but then right here you see this bottom left corner one it says unlock it squad five star so once we get him to five star this will unlock all right so the four souls are attack perseverance which is defense <laughs> life which is our hp and finally protect which can be like magic damage reduction now once you have a soul stone equipped the number one thing is to intensify it which intensifying means upgrading the rarity of the soul gems goes by color so as you can see the blue not being that rare and the stats will be a little bit lower and the purple ones will be a way stronger than the blue ones and then as you can see right here, I have some legendary ones equipped right here. The legendary ones are your strongest one. All right, so intensify. Intensify is very simple. It just means to level it up. As you can see, the plus four right here, this indicates that it was leveled up four times. If I want to level it up five times, it will go up to plus five. This stat will just basically increase. It's very simple. So for this one, the attack will increase. Um, for this one, the defense uh hp and then the top magic damage reduction right so i'll just go over here um let's do this perseverance one right here we have a plus four i intensify this and there it is it goes up to plus five very simple and it increases the stat buff now if we go over to resolve resolve is how we break down our unwanted soul gems and turn them into soul fragments aka the the purple soul stuff that we use to intensify other stuff so let's see we got like a bunch of blue stuff that you don't want you know we could just click it and here we go we'll see we'll resolve it we'll put it in this little fragment furnace and we will get out 100 purple souls <laughs> so we'll just hit resolve and there we go it's very simple and if you want to do it by uh types you could just click rares and it will do all your rares you could do all your epics or you could do all your legendaries rare it will be 100 the epics are i believe 200 a piece and the legendaries i believe the legendaries are 300 a piece they might be 400 i'm not 100 percent sure I, I would never i would highly suggest you you never really resolve a, a legendary you should keep the legendaries they're very very hard to get if you're gonna you know put them in the furnace use your rares all right next up we have the star now this is how we star up our soul gems as you can see at the bottom some of them have stars and some of them don't this one right here has three stars this one has two stars and then these ones at the bottom i have not starred them up they have zero stars when you star up a soul gem it increases all of its stats so it becomes so much stronger it helps out a ton when you star it up you will get a new sub stat so as you can see right here my basic attribute is attack of 1593 but because i have it at one star we get this bonus right here star attribute healing bonus plus 4.5 percent now when i star it up to level two i will unlock a new sub stat right here a new star attribute this will unlock and both of these will upgrade so our attack will increase and our healing bonus will increase and then we will unlock a new one and it just keeps going on so if we were to do this to three stars we'll unlock a new third star attribute and then the other ones will all upgrade as well they'll increase their stats now to star up a soul gem we'll click on any of them we'll click on let's click on this one we need to sacrifice two soul gems in order to star this up this will require two legendary soul gems that have no stars on it we sacrifice those two to star this up and it will become one star and if we're going to go and we want to level up one of these one stars to two stars now it's going to take us more we're going to need more of the same type 
So in order to increase a one star to two star, you're going to need to sacrifice one stars. You kind of need to sacrifice whatever it is. You can't, you can't uh, go for like a three star and upgrade it using low, you know, star gems like of uh, one star or no stars. If you want to increase it, it needs to be the same star count, which is very, very important. It's kind of like building it, like step laddering it, step stooling it up. So if you have a two star soul that you want to increase, you will need two extra two star souls. That's that's very simple. Uh, next up we have is refine. The so refine is a very, very interesting one. It's one of my favorite. You select a soul and on the right, you will see its current stats. So once we go to refine, it shows me all the ones that I have. Now we're going to click on uh, this one right now. Let's click on... Let's click on this one right here, okay? So this one has a green and it shows green color and it says attack of 225. We're gonna click refine. Now what refine does is very simply, you kind of just re-roll the stat. So as you can see, this says attack 225 plus and it is a common one. It takes five wash stones in order to kind of re-roll. I mean, that's, that's the easiest way to say it. You're kind of re-rolling to change the current stats. And there's three different ones. We have common, which are green. We have rare, which are blue. We have epic, which are purple. So we're gonna click refine, and it's gonna show us what it could replace. Now, you don't have to replace this. You can just keep going, or you can replace it, or you can keep re-rolling. So right here it says our new stat would be defense plus 67 plus 5. And again, it is common. So again, this would be optional. It's up to you whether you want to take the attack bonus or the defense bonus. You would just click replace and it'll replace it. Otherwise, you could re-roll again. Again, same thing. And you just kind of keep re-rolling. And we just keep going. And eventually, we'll get something really good like this. So here we have an epic, all right? So this one, you really, really want to do. You really want to take this one. Attack plus 675. This is like the best one you can get. It is epic. Now, if I click continue, it stops you, right? So you can't accidentally make a, uh, you know, if you accidentally click on it, it lets you know. There are higher quality attributes not replaced. Whether to continue, right? So we're going to hit cancel because we don't want to re-roll. We got a great one. We got epic. So we'll replace it. And bam, now we got this stat, right? So that's so good. So you can kind of go through these, whatever ones you have, and you can just kind of re-roll. Now, if we do ones that already have like three, right? We'll go to this one, for example. This one has three stats. We click refine. This will re-roll all three. So again, it depends on the star count. If you have it start up higher, you will be able to change all three and it will change all three. We'll hit refine. And you'll see some of them will be better and some of them will not. But right here, we have two rares and then one common. So again, it depends on, you know, what you want to do. I'm going to replace that. That's pretty good. Better than what I had. We'll do it again. I don't really like those old commons. And we'll, we'll just kind of keep going through. That one's okay. Not bad. Again, I'm just trying to... Oh, as, as an epic one. Now, now, here we go. You go into the question, you know, one epic over to the two commons to the rares. What's better? I don't know. I'm going to replace it. I think that's pretty good. So we're going to replace it. That's pretty cool. But the refine is really, really fun. I love the refine feature. The refine feature is super duper fun. Last thing we have is mastery. Every time you increase a soul star level for a squad member, one of the orbs will unlock. You need to click on the orb though to actually activate it. So as you can see for this guy, we have one, two, three, four, five, six already. And once we do another one, it'll go right here. Again, you will have to click it. And right here, this last, this 10th one right here unlocks a very, very special ability. So you want to unlock that. After you go through the first 10, you can click on the little number two. There's another 10 over here. So there's actually 20 in total. And again, this 20th one will unlock another special ability. Now, one extra important thing to keep in mind is some of these squad members, right, as a whole unit, they share that 10th bonus ability. So if we click on this archer guy right here, you can see the arrows. And if we click on our green girls, the, the twins, these archer girls, again, theirs is the same. But if we click on the demon guy, his is different. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button for more 
game mobile game guides uh, i will see y'all in the next video peace